What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I am Alex. I'm joined by a very special guest to talk about the Texas Chainsaw Massacre game. We're going to be talking about the technical test, and I'm here with the boy Dave, a great, great guy, firstly. Great also content creator. He's been absolutely crushing it. I mean, maybe people that are watching this video have already watched you, man. Uh, how are you doing, firstly? And, and thank you so much for being on. I'm doing pretty good. Thank you so much. I'm happy to be here. I am very happy to be here. It's, it's always fun talking games, you know, so. Yeah, so uh, I'm going to have his link in the description if you guys have never, you know, checked him out. Check out his channel. Subscribe. Again, talks a lot about Texas Chainsaw and does better than I could ever do. But here we are, and the technical test now, you know, when we're recording this, what do we got? About a month. But when this comes out, maybe a little bit less. What do you let, let's start there? What are you feeling? How excited are you? And then we'll start to talk uh, more about like the nitty gritty, what we want to see, maybe some of our concerns. But how are you just feeling that we're this close to potentially? We don't know if we'll be able to play it, you know, if we're in, right? But, uh, but some people will be able to play it. Um, I'm excited, and it's so weird because, like, with things getting delayed like so much, the fact that we are at least getting a tech test, I'm super happy for. Hopefully, like you said, we can get in. Yeah. But the fact that it's literally, I think yesterday marked, I guess, 30 days from yesterday. Yeah. It's going to be out. But the fact that we're getting this, it doesn't feel real, but yeah. I'm, I'm here for it. <laughs> Summer of 2023, it's already looking good. So. Yeah. No, it's, uh, I think the technical test is going to be a lot of fun. The release, you know, in August, uh, not too much of a span of time in between them. So you get, you get your feet a little wet and then you get to jump into the full thing. So, Let's go into kind of our expectations, it, it, whether we get in or not, right? Or whether we're right, watching right. gameplay or whatever. What are you hoping to see from this technical test, whether it be uh, mechanics, right, balancing? Like, what kind of stuff are you hoping that is kind of proven when we actually see this thing? It has to come from balance. And the okay. reason why I say this is because I've had a big issue with a lot of people on the Internet saying – it already looks on balance. It's not balance. It, you don't see balance. You right. don't read balance. You got to experience balance. Yeah. Now, it all it, it's going to be a little tricky because I don't know how many people will be able to access. Right. That's going to make it a little weird. But I think balance is the biggest thing people want to see. So it can put everybody at ease. You can make your final, you know, decisions there. Yeah. But balance is it's that key thing that I want to test out. Yeah. So. That that's where I'm at. You know, two kinds of balance, and I'll I'll ask you about this once I say it. For like Leatherface, right? So there's there's basically Leatherface versus the rest of the family. That's one balance because you know, and mm -hmm. they've talked about it too. Like you yeah. know, people are going to gravitate towards him, but that gives them motivation to make everybody else not just feel good, but also kind of be needed, right? Like the other characters, the other family are needed in order to to stop whatever you want to call them, survivors right. or victims, whatever. And then also there's the side of, and you have to worry about this with Friday the Thirteenth, Predator, Hunting oh, yeah. Grounds, right? You don't want people, everybody, gravitating towards the killers, right? You, you do yes. need some survivors. So, so for me, and uh, let me know, you know, what you think next. It's it's more of Leatherface versus the others, and then also killers versus like making it fun for everybody because you're gonna need, you know, both sides. Right. So I think when you think of like Leatherface versus everybody else in the family, they've made. As far as reading it, as far as like stats and abilities, they've made them so much more interesting that they usually yeah. would be. Then I don't, I because I'm not even eyeing Leatherface for the most part. Yeah, the cook is my guy. <laughs> I'm gonna be on cook day one. Yeah, I don't think it'll be that big of an issue. You're always gonna have people who want to main him. He's an iconic slasher, but I don't think that's gonna be like too too big of an issue. But like we we gotta see. But I I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it might be it might be a situation. I think where. It's because it's not even only Cook. Like, the ones that stand out the most are Johnny and Sissy. Sissy especially. Yeah. I've heard, like, I've you, you've you even read it. Um, I think uh, it was Andy from from Gun who said she's a beast. She's yeah. an absolute beast. Yeah. So she might she might be the star besides Leatherface. I I'm think thinking. in one of the behind the scenes, they talked specifically about her and how much fun it was creating her and how much, you yes. know, they liked her. So she does seem to kind of be like a personal, a personal fave from them. I think she might be just as just as terrifying as Leatherface. From what I, her this the singing while she's just slicing yeah. you up, yeah, yeah. That's up what for they that. showed her singing in the behind the scenes. What about the survivors compared to the killers? Well, which side do you think you'll gravitate towards? Um, I think sometimes it, it can you, be an app like 
people, I think general people, right? They kind of just jump into these things. Do gravitate yeah. towards the killers. Mainly yes. because there's so many games where you'll play as these average Joes. And in a way, you know what I mean? And, and for a slasher kind of game, to be able to play mm-hmm. as, as Jason and all these, like it's such yes. a cool thing, right? So you gravitate right. towards them. But then when you get into like the nitty gritty, depending on how the game is, like Friday, Friday mm-hmm. I think is a blast to play as counselors. Like it's, it's yes. there's the teamwork, you could take them out, you could just hide yes. and you know plan it out. I, I'd say it's equal fun. And it re- that yes. comes down to the gameplay, which we'll talk about, but... I think once you really get into it, you find mm-hmm. that both can be really good. Whereas maybe people jumping in for the first time, they're always, I think, going to go for the killers. Um, I think I might gravitate more towards the victims only because when you look at Friday, we have perks and we have stats. Yeah. And added bonus in this game, we have abilities. Right. So that goes into some, you know, people saying it looks unbalanced. Well, while you have the cook who can sense unselfy victims, you have Sonny, who's pretty much, you know, a, a situational awareness character. He can pretty much, you know, track and hear like, you know, foot footsteps and things like that. Um, or you have the cook, you have Sonny as well. So yeah. it's I don't I think I'll gravitate more towards um, the victims only because they make them likable. They yeah. made them likable. They gave them abilities. I'm down for it. It's not just, <laughs> hey, you're kind of screwed. You, you you got some fighting chance in there. So, yeah. yeah, I think for the the family, you got a lot there that you can look at. And then the victims, you have a lot there as well that can kind of combat that. Pretty yeah. Much. I will say when they first showed it, and even the first couple waves of things that they did show, yes. I did get the sense that it's going to be hard. That like that. And, okay. Well, number one, it like it looks so scary. I want to talk to you kind of about like because the atmosphere of this game, I think, is yes. one of the things that's going to set it apart from others. It looks so freaking good, and it just feels yes. like you're kind of screwed. But you know, it, it, it's walking a fine line because even myself, somebody who's not kept up as much as you, but has kept up mm. more than the average person. It does seem pretty difficult as a survivor. The odds are stacked up against you. You look at just the numbers, right? So, you know, you look at Friday the 13th, it's what, 1v8, right? Yeah. But now you got more killers and you got less survivors. So it does seem like it's going to be more difficult. Um, I guess, what do you think? Do you think it's been kind of skewed that way in terms of like the marketing and stuff? I I think this is going to – I don't think any of us are ready for how how – I think the game will be terrifying for one. I think it'll 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 actually induce that fear and anxiety yeah. and it feels more real. Um and I think people see the shift from Friday to Texas because it's even like um it's a 3v4. So when I heard 3v4, I'm like hey, yeah, slow like, down new now. numbers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like slow down because it's not like you have one person to worry about. It's like in Friday, it's Jason versus quite a few counselors. Right. And even then a lot of us are getting getting destroyed by Jason. So now it's like you don't have to think about Leatherface while he's busting down that door and you're out of dangerous reach. Around the corner, it's the hitchhiker or the right. cook. Right. So I think while a lot of people, you know, are kind of it's, it's going to be hard, I think, pretty much. I mean, I'm getting excited talking about it, but Same. it's like in Friday, you there's a lot of people who have time to troll and they'll hit the emotes and they'll be dancing. Yeah. But it's like, you're not going to have time for that in Texas. You have to lock in. You have to actually have some kind of structured teamwork. It's going right. to be tough, but yeah. I, I think that's what we need. We yeah. need that. No, I, well, as you were saying that, that's exactly what I was thinking where, you know, Friday, there can be downtime. There can be down. Yes. And, and, you know, as you're going through these different tents or whatever, you know, buildings, you're looking for stuff. Sometimes you don't find it. Sometimes you do. Yeah. But you have, like, time at hand. Like, you can do it. You have that time. Whereas for Texas, claustrophobic. You have to worry about, uh, I don't know if they're, like, wind chimes, but things that will, like, cause noises. Like, almost yeah, immediately. Yeah, like a chicken. Yeah. There's a, like, you can decide to, like, I guess, stab the chicken yeah. and stuff. Like, I like that, though. It's just oh, yeah. added bonuses of things. So. Some of the first pictures yeah. were, I don't know if it was, like, the living room, but some of the first pictures just very small amount of room to move. And then yes. there's things that you can set off by accident or you can create noise. And it's like, yep. yeah, there's not going to be, and we'll see, like, you know, I don't know a hundred percent if it'll work because I, I think it's possible yep. that it's maybe too much, but I love it. Like I'm going to, I'm leaning into it so hard because it's like, there's going to be no downtime. You start, right. right. You start in the basement. So it's like you, mm-hmm. you're already in a very bad situation. You got to work your way out and you probably, I assume need to do it relatively quickly. I don't assume yes. you'd want to be cornered in one floor by three killers. So, uh, right. you know, things like that where it's there's not going to be a lot of downtime. Like you said, right. teamwork, everybody's going to have to be doing something nonstop. 
if it yeah. works, which I think it would, it's almost just like, would it be kind of like too much on a person's soul, you know, playing the game? Is it too hard? Um, because if it does work, I think it can be with the atmosphere, with all that, I think yeah. it'd be incredible. I think that it, it does look like a bit, but I think the the two things they were pushing with this game, teamwork and stealth, it's going to be very yeah. stealth heavy. And there's actually a scene where in the living room, uh, there is a scene where somebody's turning off a light. You can use shadows and things yep. to play in your favor to just hide from the family. There's also a scene where you, uh, you have Leatherface running in the field and you're hiding in a bush. Yeah. And so small things like that. It's not just a cat and mouse game. Yeah. You have to you have to outsmart each other. We have tools on each side. Right. To outsmart each other. It's how well do you use it? It's yeah. not as simple as, hey, cat, you know, it's not catch me if you can. Right. You know, it's I mean, it kind of is, but it's it's a lot <laughs> that goes into it. And I don't think it'll be too much. Maybe at first it might be. But um, I think we're just there's a, there's a learning that. curve with all of them. Right. You, you jump yeah. in, you, you, you figure out some tendencies, mm. uh, you figure out some yeah. things that you kind of have to do, some things yep. that maybe you can skip. I mean, not, not that they're the same thing <laughs> because they certainly are not. But, you know, like Crash mm. Team Rumble just had its beta. I had played it, and but it gets you into exactly what I was just saying. Like, you play it, you kind of know what to expect, right, because you've seen videos, but you don't full. And like you said, I, I think that's such a good point. Things like balance, and I actually just experienced this with, like, Crash. You can mm. watch it all day long. You can be told it all day long, but until, number one, you yeah. don't really even know what it feels like until you play it, right? How they're right. going to move. Maybe some of them are a little bit more clunky on purpose, and you can't really right. tell that now. So there's that. And then there's, yeah, how everybody kind of fits, what works, what doesn't work. You can watch all day long, and you can pick mm -hmm. up some stuff for sure. You know, I'm not against people making opinions on, on watching right. things, but once you play it, that's when you really start to learn. And, and I, you know, again, they're not the same thing. One's a little bit not as uh, uh, brutal, but it's roughly the same for all these multiplayer games. You really just got to check it out, you know, try it. Pretty much, and I, I'm hoping what people don't get confused is, like for example, there's I, I don't want the game to come out and and don't get me wrong, the game you know could have issues or not, but I don't want the game to come out and then people go, I don't like his tendencies or he's not as strong as this person. They're yeah. not gonna be all on the even playing field at all. Right. And as far as like learning these characters, I talked about this a while ago where Friday in Friday, the game itself, there's a tutorial, but it's text. It takes you through a yeah. traditional match. And um you kind of get to learn Jason a little bit more once you do the challenges, but I, yeah. I would love for Texas to implement both and give us like in-game tutorials, like take us through like a checklist yeah. kind of format for the game. Let us get a feel for it, you know? Um, and don't get me wrong. Friday wasn't like a super hard game to learn, but we have like legitimate abilities, like yeah. whether it's Connie and her ability to, you know, to unlock, you know, unlock a lock faster than most. Yeah. Sunny, his situational awareness, Leland being able to stun, the family, like there's a lot being thrown at us. And for the ones who want to know, they're going to learn. But, you know, for newer players, like, you know, it, it'll it'll be nice to kind of get them in here and kind of give them the rundown on it. When this is all said and done, whether it's a technical test or, or the game, do you think it stands a chance at being – because I, I, that's how I've always looked at this. I, I don't – you know, I do compare games, okay? I'm not going to lie and say yeah. I don't do it. But, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, every game stands alone. But it's hard yeah. to ignore Friday or even Predator, Ghostbusters, like these 4v1s or whatever, or Dead mm -hmm. by Daylight, I suppose. Do you think this game has what it takes to at least be a part of that? I think immediately can be like bigger than Ghostbusters, Predator. Oh, yeah. Dead by Daylight is kind of like the gold standard, right? It's got its yeah. problem. I mean, some people genu genuinely hate that game, but it stood the test of time, right? That game's been around yeah. since 2016. It gets... Right. 40 50 000 people daily that's what you want i guess from a game that's a live service kind of thing do you think texas can be in an area with it or you know what's where do you think it can go i think because of all the gameplay aspects um i think it will stand the test of time and then you got to think about like all the movies even though the timeline yeah. for the other movies are kind of wishy-washy <laughs> there's a lot of dlc that can go in there uh yeah. and i think even when you think about um friday i don't think friday had all the maps you see in friday i don't think they were all there at launch mm, if i'm yeah, not mistaken I think they added but texas maps. there's only three yeah. and i know people were kind of concerned even me in the beginning i'm like three maps you know but that's kind of like how games are they kind of as yeah. things pick up they drop more in the game i don't i don't i'm not concerned with it at all you know with these games specifically some do kind of drop off yeah. 
Yeah. And I always like to point out with Friday, you know, uh, even though some players did drop off later on, it kind of came to a halt because of, you know, the all the legal stuff and everything like that. Yeah. But that, re- this, that really like, is what I think kind of killed it. It it had yeah. its drop off, but you, you sensed, at least I sensed, like in the community, people were still yeah. with it. And then kind of once everybody's yeah. on the same page that this is it, you know, this is all we're getting. It, yeah. it, like you said, it hit a wall. Which shouldn't happen. Shouldn't yeah. happen for Texas. So, like I said, though, this is a love letter to all the Friday fans because, you know, while we do have our Dead by Daylight, we have our Evil Dead. Like yeah. I'm still like I still play Friday. You know, to yeah. this day, I've been playing for years, and this is a love letter to us because everything we loved about Friday, they just they're elevating everything. Even when you look at the quality, the graphics of it. Um, oh yeah, it's a beautiful game. That itself is what's getting people hyped. People who have never touched games, who love this franchise, who love this this character, this iconic character, Leatherface, are coming over here to yeah. go, hey, we, we want to check this out. It looks good. So Yeah, that's the thing. Evil Dead, you mentioned Evil Dead. Uh, some of these games, are the more recent ones, like Texas, Evil Dead, they yeah. even have just that visual. Because I, I, Friday, when it came out, it wasn't, I think, turning any heads. It wasn't the most visual, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? It really, I think, picked up because of the beta. People, YouTubers, actually, a lot of content yes. creators uh, yep. basically made their name on Friday the 13th. So yeah. it had that. But, yeah, you're right. This game, I think just the very first time, well, the first time they showed it was more of like a teaser concept, not really like, you yeah. know, in-game. But the first time we saw it, the first thing you notice, what? The first thing you feel is the atmosphere, I think. So, like, the tension mm. and claustrophobia and all that stuff. But visually, right, right. yeah, like, the lighting, the character models, the details. Mm. Like, it looks really good, like, just visually. And then then you know what kind of game it is. And you know yep. how tense it could be and the strategy. And that's going to get people, you know, kind of no matter what. So, I think this game, honestly, has kind of, like, everything working for it. It's just, you know, as we talked about, balancing is going to be the main games will yeah. make or break i really do believe right if one yeah. is way better than the rest if the killers are way better than the survivors mm-hmm. you're kind of done like already because yeah you're gonna have an imbalance the servers are gonna be all messed up so that's right. gonna be the biggest thing uh, but that's what you imagine they're working on for like the last right. oh, three yeah. four years is making sure everybody's okay to play as right they're checking all the boxes and that like i, I that's something i push for the most part like there's the sometimes conversations about this game kind of you know, you know they kind of go off the rails as far as what we can expect but literally yeah. like the sole purpose what i'm expecting is balance because they check all the boxes like this i sometimes i look at a game and i'm like Ugh, you know i don't really know as far as the visuals you know the gameplay we have seen and yeah we're seeing keep in mind we've been seeing a lot leading up to this tag test so yeah i would assume that um these next uh, few weeks are going to be crazy but it checks all the boxes. We just got to know at this point. We got to know. We do. We all have our concerns, but at this point, we just we got to get our hands <laughs> on this game. Oh, my gosh. For sure. Well, uh, I'd love to do this again. You know, hopefully we can get into the technical test and, and make some videos on that. But like I said earlier, guys, make sure that you check out the Boy Dave links in the description. Thank you, Thank you man, again, for uh, for being on. Hope we can do it a couple more times before even the, the base game launches. Oh, yes, please. No, Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah, of course. Well, thank you all for watching. Let us know in the comments what you think. Check out his channel, and we'll see you all on the next one.